if you are looking for external support, you need to find the persons that already solved this problem, that already went through that darkness, that already had been in that darkness. In the beginning, everything is white, everything is pure, and then things become serious. This is where also nowadays different teachings, different insights calling. Yeah, sometimes it's necessary to bring out the inner child, bring out the joy, the lightness back. Why is the lightness gone? Because life has become too heavy, too heavy with possession, too heavy with responsibilities. There are many different things that can make one's life become and feel heavy. So you want to become pure again? You want to become light again? Well, it's time to cut off some things and not add on. The adding on is what this world already is propagating. This is what many people are living in. The world of adding stuff up. Why? Because we don't feel enough. That's why we keep on adding. But when will I finally be full? Never. With this approach, never. Because you keep on looking for the answer on the outside. But this year, we have to change our internal view on the world. What do you personally want to see in the world? What do you think is missing in the world? If you could be the creator of this world and you see something is missing right now to make this world the place how you would like to see it and live in it, what would it be? More kindness? More understanding amongst people? Good. Then you are the one who starts with it. You are the one who's going to initiate this movement. The movement of more kindness towards the people, more work for the community, more understanding, more connection, whatever it is you think is missing, that's already the next purpose. Now, spine bending to the front. The arms hang loose. Chin tucked in and just start bending down. Remember, it's not about going low, it's about curving the back side of the spine and making it as round and open as you can. Just hang for a moment. Yeah, no need to watch me at the moment. Just hang for yourself. Stay, if there's something new coming, I'm gonna tell you, but just concentrate on yourself. So. Go down, don't look at me. Yeah, chin, no. Chin down. Stay down. Yeah, stay down, stay with yourself. Don't look at the screen at the moment. Stay down. Now cross the fingers and place them on the top of your head. So you have some additional weight pulling down uh, or resting on the back side of the head. Now use this weight, use this weight of your arms and use also the breathing right now to release the tension that you can feel on your back. So. Feel the tension, feel what is blocked, feel that spot that is a little bit uh, maybe painful. Inhale into that spot. Exhale. And release more tension. With the exhalation, we release more. With the inhalation, you make it very clear which spot is it that you want to release there. Where is the hard part? Where is the burning part? Where is the muscle that is not open yet? Inhale to that same spot again. Exhale and release from that place. And eight more times, inhale. And 
exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now, inhale. Very important, tuck the chin in so that the back side of your neck is getting longer. Exhale. And four more times. Inhale. And remember, exhale and release the tension from the long side of the neck throughout the complete back of the body. And three more times, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. And one more time, breathe in, and when you breathe out, also let the arms hang down again, breathe out and release. So now before you stand up, very important, try to stand up, but starting with the lowest joints. So with your mind, with the mind, go into your ankles. This is where your movement starts. You go from the ankles, then the mind, go to your knees. From the knees, you go to the hip. From the hip, you move a little bit more up and you are at the lower spine. Lower spine moves slowly up, yeah. middle area of the spine, a little bit more up than you're between the shoulder blades, a little bit more up, you're at the neck, a little bit more up and now you're almost completely uh, back up and straight again. Good. So for example, this last, um, this last instruction that I gave you to start the movement, for example, down at the feet. Actually, this is quite uh, important to also know these things for, for, for your practice. In the Shaolin Temple or in the practice of the martial arts, actually there is, for example, the so-called the three-section teaching. The three section teaching, what is it teaching us? What is it supposed to teach us? So the three section teaching is like this. Our body can be separated or can be regarded in three different areas. The first area is you have the arm section. You have the arm section. The second one is the upper torso. Yeah? Second session. Uh, section yeah and the fourth one is everything below until the legs so one section the second section and the third section so already our body we can uh, we can separate in three areas but then those three areas once again we can separate each of these areas again in three more because the arm section we have the wrist, we have the elbow, and we have the shoulder joint. The leg, we have the hip, we have the knee, and we have the ankle. Again, one, two, three. Yeah? And the upper body, I don't go too deep into it, but it's heart, mind, and energy. So, 
what's the point of all of this? The point is that at the same time, these three areas, they are sometimes also standing for, you always have a root, you have a stem, and then you have the crown on a tree. And there is a very, very clear chronology of where does energy start from. You, you cannot have the crown and the fruits of a tree if you have do not have the roots uh, before that. And so this makes sense why some movements, it's very important, where are you starting this movement? Yeah, so that means if you want to move the, the, the wrist or if you want to bring the fist to the front, where is the beginning of the movement? Where is the beginning? So, and therefore we have such practices that when you are rolling yourself up, it must start from the ground. Yeah, because in this last posture, when you are down and bending down like this, yeah, it's like you are, uh, uh, let's imagine you're a tree. Yeah, you're a tree who didn't have enough water yet. So now finally you get your new water. So, but that means you must start to roll up from down up. So we take this exercise now and make it a little bit more dynamic. So let me show you how we practice this one. From here, uh, again, bend down. The knees this time you can slightly bend if you like. Yeah, the important part is that you practice from here. Head is hanging from down. Up. Then hang again. From down. Up. Down. Up. Hang. Up. Yeah, so roll yourself up, roll yourself up. Yeah, it is like a small wave. It's like a wave which is traveling from the feet upwards and therefore making you stand up. Let's go together 18 times, not too fast. Okay, so bend down. And one. And down again. Okay, I give you the separate station. Okay, foot, ankle, knee, hip, lower spine, middle spine, between the shoulder blades, neck, head. And down. Feet. Ankle. Knee. Thighs. Hip. Lower back. Middle. Between the shoulder blades. Neck. Head. And down. Feet. Ankle, chin, knee, side, hip, lower spine, middle spine, between the shoulder blades, neck and head. Down again. Feet, ankle, knee, side, hip. Lower spine, middle spine, between the shoulder blades, neck, head. Uh, three more times. So down. So feet, knee, size, hip, lower spine, center spine, shoulder blades, neck, head. And two more times, go down. So, 
feet, ankles, shin bone, knee, thighs, hip, lower back, middle back, between the shoulder blades, neck and head. And one more time, go down. And last time, feet, ankle, knee, thighs, hip, lower back, middle back, between the shoulder blades, neck and head. Okay, very good.